Hello, today I'm going to talk about a new tap turn full turn tracker. Uh, to cut the video short, please refer to the video called Old Half Turn Full Turn Tracker. Uh, it show you it looks something like this. It show you the functionality of the half turn full turn. So watch that video before you start with this one. Okay, go now. Let's go to turn on the turn tracker. Go to owner manager. Set up. Turn tracker. Uncheck the second one. Check the third one. It looks something like this. Close. Exit. And go to turn tracker. So here's the new look of the turn tracker. Uh, we replace a red target in, into the green neck uh, label. Uh, you still sign in the detection every morning right here. All right. Okay, so before we begin, we need to do some setup. So in order for run correctly. So go to admin here okay so the first option is merging two half turn and full turn same thing but we do it better we show you that later uh, show a, a ticket number and show service amount so you click here we show the amount of ticket and the amount of service uh, below the taxi name and the next option is auto set uh, full turn and half turn after complete sale. So this is a new feature that allow the after the complete the sale we can put if you're in the half turn full turn based on the amount you specify here. So here the twenty dollar. So anything be between up twenty dollar above is a full turn. Everything below twenty dollars is a half turn. Okay. So the next option is not include added product charge. So if people that use an ad uh, product chart will understand this, uh, one brief example is let's assume you have a twenty dollar service. There's a two dollar product charge, so the actual service is only eighteen dollar. So for that transaction, because it's eighteen dollar, it's still a half turn, not the full turn. So even though the customer paying twenty dollars, so it's very simple and it's. That's how you can have an option to turn on, turn off. Okay, treat at twenty dollar as the as the turn or eighteen dollar as a turn. Okay, um, complete close it out. Okay, so um, be, uh, below here that you can add this new sub your new turn here that you can customize and you can modify your your uh turns. Um, you can change the color, uh, change the type, uh, and you can add up to, uh, I think, 40 uh, turn. Okay, so let's do some example. Let's hit edit turn, go to end of the code. From here, you can check, you select, and you change it from full turn, half turn to a full turn, and you can ch change the color if you like. All right, okay. Um, so and also we have we add what called zero turn. A lot of people use that zero turn as an appointment. So it, it doesn't count anything, but it's labeled as a turn. So so it show that there's an appointment in between the tur the turn. So the way we show it, we draw it differently than the full turn. We draw the square a little smaller, so it indicates it's a half turn. So you can set that, go in here, set a zero turn, and change your color. If you need more color, there's a more color palette for you, all right, for the button and for the text, all right? Okay, so let's turn it off. Okay, so you still add the work to the technician as the te to pick up the, when after the, to pick up the customer. So you're still adding the work, you know, I go to work, I pick up the customer, I go to work, all right? Okay, so let's, let's show uh, auto complete sale and adding a turn after complete sale. So let's do Cindy. Okay, Cindy first, then she get to go first. She, she done the service. So let's go Cindy. Um, she do, let's say she do a $16 complete sale. Complete. And then go back to the turn tracker. There you go. It's automatically add a half turn half turn for her because it's only $16 and then the marker go back to her because it's the same rules because she first and she not complete the full turn she get to pick another customer so she pick another customer okay so let's try uh, to do multi uh, uh, technician and then auto field 
uh, the half turn full turn okay let's do hong dao wang min and khan ha okay hong dao wang min khan ha okay let's go to here hong dao let's do her twenty dollar two dollar sorry uh let's do more tech uh, wang min okay wang min let's do uh, her him like forty five dollar and then let's do khan ha is uh fifteen dollar let's complete sale all right And go back to turn tracker. There you go. If you're in full turn, $45, $20, and then $15. So Kanha is only half turn because Cindy working, Kanha only half turn, so she get to pick the next customer. All right. There you go. It's same thing. Uh, but it, it's a similar similarity to the old turn tracker. It's ha only different here. It, it gives you the... the um, the auto uh, complete sale all right from here you can modify the uh, the turn you can change uh, you change your from half turn to full turn or you can change the label wherever you like so when you change the type it will move say right? so so be careful with that all right so next we're gonna demonstrate you the the, the uh, merging to half turned into a full turn so I'm gonna borrow something here. I'm gonna use this block here. I'm gonna do a, an RF here, and next half another half turn. I wanna do an an M. Watch, it merging two and a uh, two and then and uh, and label according to the, the you enter in. So RF top and the M in the bottom. So let's reverse that. Let's try an M first. M half turn, and the next one is a uh, RF. Boom. It changed an M on top and an RF in the bottom. Okay, so that's okay. So let's try. Uh, um, let's try again. Do a half, uh, two half turn. Let's let's do it. Let's say do Jenny. Okay, let's, Jenny another half turn. All right. And half turn. Let's do another half turn for Jenny. See how the how they merge it. Okay. Uh, let's do another half turn for Jenny. Do you see that? They're adding two half turns together. It, so this gives you more information how is the turn created. Okay. Um, some people may, may meaningful to them, some maybe not, but it, it's a lot better in terms of, of uh, understanding how it works, how everything works in the store. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to talk about what on the right here is very most important. And this feature on the right here is the activation. It's, you have to pay for it. It's, right now, it's... When you, when you download and when you install, it gives you only partial use. It doesn't give you a full version of using it. If you want to use it fully, you have to pay for it. All right. Um, so uh, what it does is allow you to automatically figure out who the next in line and who can do what. So from start, you need to go here and set up your service. Okay. You got the service on the right here. You set up your service. Right. Wherever you service, you can change the color if you want. Right, uh, and you can add more servers. You're up to 30 ser 31 servers here, okay. And then once you done, once you complete, uh, you set up your service. Now you you begin assign the technician what the technician can do. You go to assign service below here, and hit one, two, three, four. Now you can select every each one and assign what what service they can do you can do a select all and then uncheck the one that they they cannot do and make it faster so you can do each one uncheck check uncheck check like that okay so so when you set them all up you ready to go all right uh, okay so let's say the customer come in i say i want to do manicure hit manicure so all this person can allow to do manicure and then the post, the post, the next person in line is Henry. It's already give you that that number for first in line, and it flash to indicate that you should pick that. Okay, yes, you can pick anyone, but that's the refer. So you hit Henry, and we'll expand back out again, and ready for the next next one next service. So if the customer woke up, I want to do comb his comb. So all this, all these, this four person here can do comb, and the next. 
person is Wang Min. If you hit Wang Min, it will set Wang Min into a working. All right. Okay. So let's try. It. Let's go. Let, now let's say Wang Min complete the sale. Okay. All right. Again, let's show this. Wang Min is working, right? Just one. Let's say Wang Min completes the sale. What happened here? Okay. Let's say he done a thirty dollars that service. Okay. Boom. Wang Min it full turn and he up working. So when he done the sale, that means he already done and that, that he no longer working. So we replace the working into a, a, a turns. Uh, and then now he get to wait for his next turn. Okay, so that how the uh, the new feature on the automation uh, turn tracker. Okay, so we do have uh, allow you to if you want this this on the separate uh, system, we can you can purchase a new another system, connect to the main one, and have this one on another machine that you can do a turn and do a POS on on one system and do a turn on another system. And we do have this version standalone. That means you can install and run with our N one two three or with N one two three, and we also have the same version on the iPad. It's, it's on the Apple Store in the next two weeks. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of options to do here. You can buy, again, you can buy just a, this application only, this turn application without the nail uh, and run without buying a nail system. Okay, uh, all right. So this is a brief video. And again, at the end of the night, you need to uh, uh, remove everybody. So just for the next morning, they can sign in, so hit remove and enter the code, right? Hit remove, and then now everybody out. So the next morning, you can sign them in, right? And they begin on the, on the turns. There you go, right? But the setup, you only set up one. If you have a new change, just go in here and change what what they can do and what they cannot do all right so again the only peep only four three people in the turn right now it's only show three so it's very simple you can't go wrong right um okay so th thank you for watching the video uh ho hopefully you like it uh, please give us a call if you have any question uh, in terms of pricing so thank you and good night